and this is where we started from and this is where we are now so we haven't gone extremely far but we've gone pretty decent here okay uh, one thing that I like to do is add contrast to pictures um, now there's there is a contrast lighter on here but I hear it destroys pictures I hear it I, I never use it just because I heard the brightness and contrast tools really destroy your pixels and they, they really mess up the quality of your picture when you go to get it printed the quality just comes out jacked and actually I have tried to use it one or two times and I thought you know oh it looks cool and then when you get your print back it looks awful so um, you know um, we don't want to use the the brightness contrast what we're going to use and this is you know these these tools they're considered like you know the pro tools and stuff like that you know these are the things that only the pros use and whatnot don't let that fool you man everyone can use them so here we go this is it's very similar to the levels command okay uh, what we did in levels was we brought in some whites that's what doing this is, is bringing in some whites you'll see the same effect if we do this here we bring in some blacks okay um, it's the exact same thing except in here we have the options instead of moving in whites and blacks or just moving that gamma point in the middle we can set points here and we can bring the darks a little darker by dragging this down so our darks get a little darker our mid-tones we want them to stay about the same so we'll bring them right back to the middle there and then our highlights we want them to be a little brighter so we bring them up here and so this is uh... here's our preview here what we did and we, we darken the darks we lighten the lights and we kept the midpoints about where they are so it brings a, a, a a bolder contrast to the picture okay so it's just like it, it jumps out at you now I think that her eyes and, and everything in the in the inner part that that went good like you know right in this area here this little her eyes and your goods right here everything looks nice but I think her hair is a little dark now this is uh, we're gonna go into something brand spanking new for you that we haven't talked about yet and uh, it's gonna be we're just gonna touch on it right now it's gonna be masking this little white thing here is a mask and what a mask will do is, is you're going to paint on that mask. Uh, you can paint black or white. And uh, you see your paint colors right here. Here's black. Here's white. So there's black. Here's white. Whoops. We're going to cancel that. Um, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring up our paintbrush. And we're going to be painting on this layer here. So we're not actually painting on. If we painted on Megan and we brought up our paintbrush and we painted, we would paint this big ugly thing on there. So we're going to go Command Z, which is to undo any one action that you did is command Z control C on a PC control Z on a PC um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we're on this curves thing now you see the colors turn to black and white because that's all you can paint on a mask now uh, a mask is it's I'm gonna paint on this mask I pressed X to change my uh, my colors to switch them so this is the foreground color this is the background color you always paint with your foreground color if I want to paint with white I hit X and it switches them switches them so this little you can click this here and it'll switch them or you can just hit X and X is easier so when I paint black on here what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be able to see through that layer in the spots that I'm painting black so I'm, I'm, it's it's very similar to erasing whoops and what I'm gonna do also before we get started is I'm gonna go into my brushes so we're gonna learn a little bit about brushes right now and I'm gonna bring down the hardness which is how how hard the edge is so I'm gonna bring up my regular paint again and I'm gonna do it on Megan again here so you'll see that the, the edge here is extremely extremely sharp now if I bring down the hardness of the edge I can come up here and bring down the hardness by moving the slider here or what I could do which is the keyboard shortcut is hold alt hold alt and left oh whoops it's not alt it's shift left bracket and it will uh, change the softness now you can see that happening right in here so right over here you can see that happen as I do this so we're gonna go shift bracket 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 and it gets harder and shorter you also see that the circle changing size now I can change the size of my brush overall by just hitting the left bracket to shrink it right back bracket to grow it okay so as I paint on here um, you can see that it gives a softer edge now that's gonna work out in my mask because there's not gonna be this definite edge of where my mask goes and where it ends and all that good stuff okay uh, you'll get you'll get the hang of it in just a second so what I'm going to do here is over here in my history palette, these are all the things that I've been doing. So when I first opened it, um, I opened my, my file, I, I, sent, I sent the thing backwards, I moved it, I brought it forward, I changed the master opacity, I deleted the layer. These are all the things that we've been doing. So we went to layer properties, we changed the color balance, we did the hue and saturation, we did the curves, and then I started messing with all these brushes. Now all i got to do to get back to where I want to be, since I messed all this up, I just hit curves. And it takes me back to right before I started doing all my brush strokes. So this is going to help me out so that I don't have to command Z and command Z and get all this, you know, try and change all these things by one step at a time or 
or if I get lost somewhere, I, I just know that I could, you know, do that. Um, also, what I can do here is take a picture of the way that, and now I have a snapshot here. And now uh, this is the way that it, things look right now. So if, if I go in a wrong direction and I, I decide, oh my gosh, what did I do? You know, I ruined all my work because I went in this other direction. I could always come back to the snapshot here. So let's say, you know, we'll, we'll do the paintbrush again just because we know that that's a bad idea. So we will do our paintbrush again and we'll start painting and we'll paint one time, two times, three times, four times, five times and all these things. But if we go too far, we can always come back to here and there's our snapshot and we're back to where we were. Um, so we're going to go ahead and come back to here and there we go. So we're, we're, we're using our history palette. We're going to use it later. It comes in, a, it's, it's a lot stronger than it looks right now. So even though it looks really cool right now, it's a lot stronger than it, than it looks. So, uh, there's a, a specific number of, um, history, uh, states that it will record. So the more you do, like some will start dropping off, but you can change that in your preferences. So over here in Photoshop, um, Preferences, you can go over here and do, 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 maybe it's in general. And then we'll go to history. Well, well we're not going to mess with that right now. But it's in here somewhere, you know what I'm saying? So look around, find stuff. It's all good. Anyhow, what the heck were we doing? All right, we're over here. We got our, we got our color looking pretty good, okay? Um, oh, but what I was going to do is I was going to bring back some of her hair. So back to the mask. We're going to go over here. We went to brushes. That's where we went. So um, we made our soft brush. And we're just going to paint in here and we're, we're getting rid of, of the effect that we put on there. So it's, it's just like erasing it, but I can always come back here and paint in with white and, and re-let it in. So this is an alpha, ma uh, alpha channel mask and um, they're very handy. This is just one way to use a, a mask and there's a lot of ways to use masks, but this is the way we do it for touching up a photo or color correcting and just so we can get, you know, a spot effect. Our effect is only, um, you know, going to where we want it to go. So we're, we're re we're re bringing in the hair here and we can see the effect that it has. Uh, you can take a look at your mask by alt clicking it. And this is the mask here. So you can come back in and clean up spots that you missed. And there's the mask. It's not very pretty. Um, you can alt click it again to bring back. You can alt shift click it to, um, to bring up. This is called a quick mask here. And this is so you can see both of them. So this is uh, what's called a, a, a Ruby lith. This is a Ruby lith image here. And what that is, is it's, um, it's giving you this red ruby lith uh, uh, see-through kind of thing here and it lets you know where you're painting. Now you're painting a black mask, uh, you know, but it's just showing you this so you can see it. And then, um, you know, if you want to re-alt click it, there you are right there. If you want to see what it looks like without the mask, uh, you deactivate the mask by holding shift and clicking on the mask. And you see that little red X goes right there and then you notice her hair got dark. So you can see the effect that you're having on your picture by doing that. So I'm just bringing back some of her hair there. And this picture's not done. To me, it's still a little dark, but we're going to do an effect in just a second where we're going to talk about blend modes.